Hi, all right, you guys. So I'm sure you've heard about Total Fiery Island, which is this sort of comic book series I wrote back in 2008, which serves as a precursor to BFDI. So a lot of the sort of character relationships in BFDI are explained because of events that happened in Total Fiery Island. And then BFDI was released to the public a year and a half later in 2010 to 2012. And then later in 2012 and 13, I decided to scan some of the books of Total Fiery Island and post them online. So if you search on YouTube, Total Fiery Island, you can find evidence of the first nine out of 15 books, but there's 15 books total, which means that six have never found the light of day. And so that was back in 2012, 13. It's been eight years since then. And here's the thing, in 2014, my family and I kind of renovated my whole bedroom and moved furniture around. And ever since that happened, I haven't been able to find those books. And you know, there's even a Jack and Jellyfy video, I think it's called like revoicing our old fiery comics or something, where I tried searching for those books in our shed outside. So, you know, I've been hunting for these things for years and you know, they've been missing for at least seven years. But what I remembered was that those books were always in a shoe box. And as I was just walking around my room recently, I noticed, okay, come on, work with me phone that on this shelf, right down there, that's a shoe box. And you can see there's a Rubik's cube in there, but what's at the bottom? I honestly don't know. Like I'm not playing this for the camera. I don't know what's in that box right now. So I'm gonna go look while I'm filming. And this could be Total Fiery Island, but it could also just be nothing. Okay, these, why are all these plushies on the ground? This is, this is like, they're infesting my room. This is an infestation. Okay. Guys, this is, <laughs> I, okay. I'm just like overwhelmed because if it is Total Fiery Island, I haven't seen these guys for eight, seven, eight years. Okay. Wait, I need to get better footage right now. The sunlight is just washing out the camera. Okay. Here we go. Better angle. So, here is a two by two by three. Why is it so bright? Come on. Two by two by three Rubik's cube. I, I used to try to speed solve this because I thought, oh, since it's not the normal Rubik's cube, um, fewer people know how to solve this guy so I can get a world record, but I never did. What? Okay, well, it already fell apart. That's probably why I never solved it again is because it's already broken. Wait, this part is really bright. Okay, is that better? Okay, I'm not gonna edit this. Are you ready? I honestly have no idea what's gonna happen. So we have this box, it's called matcha chocolate, but I know it's not actually chocolate because I use this box to hold marbles. And I choked on one of these when I was a little kid. There's also a big one here. Okay, so that's not important. What? I don't know what these are. These are like glass stones. Artwork from art class in elementary school. This is supposed to be a lizard and a lion. Oh my God, I hated this lion because I tried to create a face on it, but it looks ugly. Um, so here's a padlock that I used in middle school. And I, th do okay, so any of you who went to school and then stopped using padlocks, do you remember your combination? I think this one was one, 23. Let's see if I remembered. Nope, it is not 123, so I, I got it wrong. Uh, I'm gonna plug in my phone because it's about to run out of battery. Um, maybe I should have live streamed this, whatever. Okay. Okay. Lots of other broken Rubik's Cube parts. Like why, why did I even save these? Let's put them on the floor for now. Um, okay, let's get through the junk. What's this? Index cards with nothing on them. Uh, a notebook. Wait, let me, 
Oh, it's home. It's math homework. You probably can't see that, but like you wouldn't want to, because it's math. Why would I put so much stuff on top of this? Stuff from my college tour in 2013, like Cal Poly. That was one one of the colleges I was um, considering going to. Oh my god, it's it, it's it. Okay, the total fire island's down there. Well, I just lifted this sheet of paper, which is what I used to use for my Mandarin homework, you know, writing the Chinese characters. But as, as soon as I lifted that, look what's underneath. Fire, total fire island part 12, bowling 2. Okay, so this is it. This is it. This hasn't seen the light of day in years and years. This one's like folded because it's it's been pressed against the edge of the box for so long. Um, yeah, I definitely think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan these and then post them online, not in a YouTube video, but in some, uh, image album so that you can get uncompressed, uh, an uncompressed peek into them. This one's not very good. I don't like this book, but I should be careful with these. Um, so like I said, Total Fiery Island is a series with 15 books because there were 16 contestants. And, um, you know, one of them will get eliminated each episode until there's one winner. So one through nine have seen the internet, but or the internet has seen one through nine, but they haven't seen 10 through 15. So here's, why did I care so much about bowling? I literally have two episodes all about bowling. So I'm just showing you a sneak peek, but at some point I will put some high quality, uh, footage of it. Total Fi Fiery Island 10 is called Spinner. And what's crazy is, you know, this is in 2008. So this is way before fidget spinners were a big thing. And I mean, here's the first page, but it's actually in pretty good condition for something written 12 and a half years ago. Oh, and this was something for a... Oh, this is part of the 4 and X fake newspaper. And then this was like the front cover. And I remember like I would... I thought it was funny because X is going, business! And he looks so silly here. Um, but that was back when 4 and X, like, when I cared about them. Because, you know, from 2009 to 2016, there was no content. Okay, these Total Fire Island books are all out of order because next we've got number 7. So, you know, you just saw 10 and 11 and now number 7. So... Well, okay. Also, look at this. This box has all of the books kind of in this orientation. But then Total Fire Island 9 is right there kind of curving up like that. So clearly I didn't handle these with much care. So let's try to sort them. Total Fire Island 8. Wait, I need a... I don't want this to get washed out. Okay, anyway. So 8 goes below 7. 3 goes above both. So if any of these are in double digits, that means they've never been seen before. 13 is stack one. Okay, I'm in a, I'm sitting very uncomfortably. I'm not very flexible. Uh, should we, I wonder if we should like voice these or something. Oh my God, see like here's, here, here's a picture of Coiny creating artwork out of the stacks of blocks to look like a cancel sign saying no fiery, anti-fiery. Stack one, stack two. Okay, I'm sorting these. That's the goal. So here's 14, um, 13, 14. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I always thought that paper disintegrated slowly over time. This is the finale, I think. Wait, this goes all the way to Total Fiery 18. Okay, there's way more episodes than I thought. There's 18 books, so it's not just 15. So that means you haven't seen a full nine books. So these are the final four, 15, 16, 17. Um, hurdles one, hurdles two, hurdles three, and W-E, W-E-T-H-E-P-C. I don't know what that stands for, but I'll find out. But they go at the bottom of the stack because they're last. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 8. So nine is the one that's there, so... Um, this, this is looking fine. Total Fiery Switch was the sequel to Total, Total Fiery Points. And I don't... 
This is long. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Wait, Total Fiery Points, Total Fiery Switch. No, Total Fiery Island was the first one. And then it was Total Fiery Points. And then it was Total Fiery Switch. And Total Fiery Points never finished. But the boat contest from BFBI Episode 1 came from Total Fiery Points. So it did have influence. And I'm trying to figure out how far did I get in Total Fiery Points before I got bored. These books are significantly thicker, by the way. Okay, it's, it's too bright. How do I... I don't know. Oh well, I'll, I'll make better footage of it later. Total Fiery Island books were always around like 10 to 15 pages. These Total Fiery Points books feel like they're like 20 something pages. And, and it also shows like the, these leaderboards at the end, which kind of show you why I was so enthused to have points and leaderboards in BFDI episodes 12 through 19. Okay, so Total Fiery Points 1 is Balance Beam, 2 is Dodgeball, 3 is Mountain Climb, 4 is Balloon Toss, 5 is Teams, Total Fiery Points 6 is Boats. How far does this go? Total Fiery Points 7 is Bridge Crossing, Total Fiery Points 8 is Eating. That's a little vague. Oh my god, there's so much vomiting. Do you guys see that? Look at this fiery vomiting. Okay, so this is a whole treasure trove. Total Fiery Points 9 Pyramid. 10 pole vault. Okay, this is a much... I thought I only did a couple of total fiery points, but I guess not. Okay, 11 test taking. 12 obstacle course. And that's it. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay, I just found something else. Okay, so remember when I was talking about X saying the business thing? Um, okay, it wasn't actually for school. It was just a fake newspaper. And this was the front page of the newspaper. It's called... The Number Playground Chronicles, um, and this is issue number one. Wait, okay. I want to show you good footage of this. So if it's getting washed out. That's not good. Issue one, April nineteenth, two thousand nine. The 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 news story is integer drops ball. What does it say? So it says, written by two... Oh, they, they have full names. The The uh, author's name is Two Integer. But this is way before Teapot and before Two had any, like, personality. But Two Integer writes, Five Integer, a former not dropper, dropped a playground ball on the morning dot dot dot, and then it says, go to A5 to finish the story. There's weather... The weather says that the high is 38 degrees Celsius, which is above body temperature, but that's, like, reasonable. The low is negative 61 degrees Celsius, though. And that's, like, almost below, like, the world limit. Oh, hey, there's this um, article about great dancers in the equation playground, and do you recognize that photograph? That's from the very end of X Finds Out His Value. And what's... Oh, <laughs> there's an advertisement for the movie Down. <laughs> Like, you know the movie Up? Oh my god, it's crazy. But what's even crazier is that since this was written in 2009, Up was like a very recent movie at the time. And also, these characters from X-Men that has value, like, had only recently seen the light of, um, the internet. Oh my gosh, there's like so much in here. There's like the, what is this? The true equation in the equation of playground written by rectangle polygons. So there was a whole other species of polygons. Um, and here's more text about in integer drops ball with a clearly infuriated three there um and i, I even <laughs> okay i need to talk about this more in depth later because this video is not supposed to be about this and my legs are getting cramped oh my gosh oh my there's so many ads in here <laughs> oh it, written by octahedron polyhedron x finds out his value this is a whole okay well and there's also a phone book in the back so anyway um yeah, there's a whole newspaper here. Oh, this is the date book, which is the, the section of our newspaper which had comics. Then we have the sports section. Clearly, I was so enthused about sports. Um, number tossing. Is it good for you? Catch gets more popular. An interview with a former athlete. Oh, and then, oh, I remember this drawing. This is the health section where Two's pulling out his own kidney or something. Well, whatever. We'll have to look into that more later. Then we get, remember this guy, the, the folded Total Fire Island 9? It's been folded for over seven years, so let's flatten it out. This is like stretching someone's back who hasn't stretched out fully 
in seven years. It's called Dice, and it's probably the last one that um, the internet has seen. So let's put that in order. So there's total fire nine, and then eight. You can't see all of this. Seven. So we have seven through eighteen full here. And then a lot more index cards that have nothing on them, which is weird. I don't know why that's a trend. Here's total fire island six. Um, four and five. Then we have three here. So now we're only missing two and one, but I guess I'm guessing they're at the bottom. Uh, oh, here's like Algi Kosathlon notes, I guess, about scores that contestants got back in the day. Um, notes that my mom wrote. Something about J Silly Boy. I don't know what this is about. Palindromes by Carrie Huang. This is. Okay, I need to get into this in another video. This is like a whole nother saga that I wrote about. And then finally, Total Fire Island 1. This is like the very first time BFDI characters existed in a contest setting. And the very first page talks about why Fire and Quinny don't like each other. Um, and it's already folded, crimped, so that's not good. And yeah, like I said, in some corner somewhere, there it is, September 2008. Yeah. Okay, and then Total Fire Island 2. So that finishes off the series. So let me unfold that. We have this whole packet here. How long is this video? 16 minutes? That's ridiculous. Okay, that's the end of the shoebox. Um, there's like this random scrap all over the place. So lots of content to look into. I'm just glad I found them because I legitimately did not know where they were. Like I was scratching my brain thinking, did some family member throw it away? Obviously they didn't because they wouldn't do something like that for something so important, but I found them. So that's good. Ugh, I've been sitting down for way too long. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. What am I sitting on? Oh, I sat on Total Fire U points. I'm so bad at being careful with, with these ancient documents, um, but maybe I'll make a series of these. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you all later. And the sun is so bright, so let me go here. Okay, bye. Bye, everyone.